Over the next four to five videos, we're going to review selectors. Now, of course, we've been talking about selectors throughout this entire series, so you have a very good idea of what they are. So again, these next four to five videos will serve more as a review, but also I will be introducing some new selectors as well as some new concepts, some new ways to think about selectors, because selectors are very, very important to CSS. They are fundamental. And of course, we know now that it's a two-step process. We need to target the element that we want to target. That's the first step. And we do that, of course, through the selector. And then we need to style the content. Now, the first type of selector that we've been talking about is the type selector. And this is one of the most basic type of selectors. We are just selecting the element by type, a very simple process. So we could select the H1, we could select the H2, we could select the paragraph, we would just put a P there, or we could select the div, we would just put DIV there. Again, we are just selecting the element by its type. So let's go ahead and style this, and we're just gonna change the color of the text. The point of these videos is not styling, we're actually talking about this part, the selectors. So let's go ahead and save this, and we'll refresh our page. And there you can see we've got our blue text. Now the next major selector that we've been talking about, of course, is the ID selector. And that, of course, is where we select the element with the hashtag by ID. And we've put that right here in, in this paragraph element. We've said ID equals para one. And remember with the ID, we usually will not be reusing this in other elements. It's usually specific to one element that we want to style. So let's just go ahead and change the text to green and we'll refresh our page, and there you can see we've got our green text. Now the next major selector, of course, is the class selector. And you will remember that we always select that element with a dot. That is how we select it in CSS, and you can see that right here, dot para. And the nice thing about this, of course, is we can reuse the class over and over again in other elements, and that's what I've done here. This paragraph element is using the para class, and this paragraph element is using the para class. So we can reuse this over many, many times. And all we need to do again is use that dot. So let's go ahead and change the color of the text to orange. We'll refresh our page. And there you can see we have our orange text now. Now we can also combine selectors. So we can put multiple selectors in one of our rule sets. So let's do that. Let's take, uh, let's take the H2 and we'll put that in here. And of course we need a comma. That's how we separate when we use multiple selectors. And let's go ahead and we'll style against the H3. And we can reuse any other selector we want. We can reuse the ID selector. So let's put that in here as well. And then what we'll do is we'll underline the text. So we'll go ahead and refresh. And there you can see the text in the H2 and the H3 are now underlined, as well as the paragraph element with the ID. Now the key again is you want to use that comma. If you don't, CSS will get confused and think you're using a descendant selector, which is what we're gonna talk about right now. And the descendant selector always selects an element inside another element. And so that element, which is inside another element, is the descendant. So in this case, we have a div element and we have a paragraph element inside that div. So this paragraph element is a descendant of the div. So keep in mind here, we are using the relationship to target this paragraph element. That is the div is essentially an ancestor of the paragraph element. And we do that over here by specifying div first and then the descendant, which is the P. And we put no comma there. You only actually use a space. So that's how you use a descendant selector. So let's uh, italicize the text. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And there you can see our text is now italicized. And we used a descendant selector to target this paragraph element. So that's what all these selectors do. It's just a different way to target these elements. Now the descendant selector has a selector that's very similar to it. It's called the child selector. And that is what we're gonna talk about in the next video. We're actually gonna introduce a new selector. It's called the child selector. And I'll talk about the differences between the two in the next video. See you guys then.